More cereal? That's your third bowl tonight? You had it for breakfast and lunch? Let's continue to throw back with more childhood cereals that you forgot about. Just because you forgot about them doesn't mean you cannot remember them and pine for them, long for them, wish you could go out and buy them right now. Here goes, 10 childhood cereals that you forgot about, part two. How could I forget that? Vanilla Crunch. How about vanilla? Let's get vanilla. We all know Captain Crunch. He is always around, kind of like an annoying uncle or a recurring dream. But do you remember when he befriended a big white whale and she opened up her mouth in the commercial to reveal the newest flavor? The commercials are part of these walks down memory lane, and if you have not taken a moment to go back and watch, you really should. Oh, I love those commercials! In the commercial for Vanilla Crunch, we see the captain at sea. He encounters Wilma the Winsome White Whale. When the crew first sees Wilma, they are frightened that the whale will spoil the Captain Crunch, and they run to the harpoon gun to defend themselves. Ah, this is where children learned about what a harpoon gun was. Thank you, cereal commercials, for expanding the minds of children. The white whale was a lady whale, and so, of course, she sported bright red lipstick. She was the bringer of good news. At her appearance, Captain Crunch reveals that he is launching a new cereal, a vanilla flavor of the classic we all know and love. Ah, yes, characters for specific flavors within a brand that already has a mascot. Marketing firms were not afraid of storytelling. Tell me a story. E.T. Cereal. E.T. for no aliens. Do you remember this cereal, or did this totally pass you by? The E.T. cereal was launched in 1984 and discontinued in 1986. It tasted kind of like a Reese in a cereal bowl. It had peanut butter and chocolate-flavored crispy puffs. Its tagline was, a glowing part of a good breakfast, and the box depicted E.T.'s famous glowing finger pointing at the cereal. This cereal is particularly interesting because it chose to use E.T. as its mascot. E.T., the same character who gave numerous children nightmares. Drew Barrymore was scared of him too. Give me a break. But learned that he wasn't so bad after all. But the point is, he did scare many kids. It was bold of General Mills to launch such a campaign. Perhaps buying this cereal for your kids was the perfect opportunity to show them how friendly E.T. was and how much fun you could have with him as you eat his magic space cereal and play the games on the back of the box. I love puzzles. They're like power squats for your mind. Honeycomb cereal. This pattern looks like a honeycomb. It has been said that honeycombs were like if Honey Nut Cheerios and Corn Pops had a baby that then got jacked. This is a pretty spot-on description. Honeycomb cereal gave a satisfying crunch when you bit into it. There were so many ways to consume this cereal. They were big enough and had enough flavor that you could almost have them like sweet chip replacements. Remember how the milk that was left over in the bowl would taste like honey? Honey milk is rather delicious. Honey anything really is delicious. Honeycomb was first first released by Post Cereal in 1965. The company faced numerous complaints for the high sugar content, and they responded by changing the recipe. Tell me you're joking. Adapting to an increasingly health-conscious market was a smart thing to do, you would think. Not the case here. After changing the recipe, Post Cereal continued to be aggravated by unhappy customers who now complained that the cereal they knew and loved has disappeared. All the reviews rated the new version a meager one star. This would not do. Post Cereal opted to return to the old recipe in 2018. Finally, some good news. Sprinkle Spangles. Here comes the sprinkle monster. <laughs> the cereal with the sprinkles. The star-shaped corn puff that sprinkled, sprinkle, spangled. Oh, wow, that is fun to say. It was even more fun to eat. Sprinkles seem to make everything more wonderful, don't they? They're kind of irresistible. There is something about the multicolorness of sprinkles that makes them uplifting. Sprinkle Spangles cereal came in a turquoise box with sprinkles scattered all about, making the whole box liven up. The star shape of this cereal also brought a warm, happy, and excited smile to your face. Stars and sprinkles. Wow. Wow. Just wow. Sprinkle Spangles were made with cornmeal, sugar, corn syrup, partially hydrogenated cottonseed oil, oat flour, wheat starch, and salt. The rainbow of the sprinkles made every kid's wish come true, as the tagline promised. The mascot for this cereal was a genie, who apparently appeared like magic and in a flurry of sprinkles. This cereal was likely a big hit with anyone who loved Aladdin or I Dream of Genie. Sprinkles and Spangles and Genies sound like fun for sure. We 
we miss this cereal. Kind of makes you want to go chug a container of rainbow sprinkles now, doesn't it? Now that you mention it, yeah. Urkelos. Did I do that? <laughs> Next up on our list of childhood cereals that you completely forgot about is Urkelos. This cereal launched in 1991 and, according to many, did not have the best flavor. It was kind of artificial in taste, but that did not take away from the power of the Urkel brand. Urkel was one character in the TV sitcom called Family Matters. The show aired from 1989 to 1997 on ABC. As the show gained popularity and the character of Urkel became more and more beloved by all, Ralston decided to launch the Urkelos. On the box, you could see Urkel making his Urkel face, surrounded by the cereal. Looking back on this may not make you long for the cereal, but it may make you want to go back and binge watch Family Matters so you could revel at his laugh and funny dance. I do have a healthy dose of the old animal magnet. Oh, yeah. The dance Urkel did in his Life of the Party episode, which aired in 1991, the same year the cereal was released, became a sensation. You could joke around at home by dancing just like Urkel as you eat his cereal. If you were a fan, then this was a good time. The actor who played Urkel, Jaleel White, later distanced himself from the whole Steve Urkel character and persona. And so naturally, all things Urkel came to a halt shortly thereafter, including having the very cereal named after him being discontinued. Urkel and his cereal had their moment, and now they can be looked back upon with love and nostalgia. Some things are better in our memory anyway. Would Urkel still be as fun and funny as he was then? Likely not. Best he stay in the past. Let the past die. Alphabets. Oh my god, Brian, there's a message in my alphabets. They came in regular and frosted, and they had marshmallows, too. You could spell your name in your spoon, and you could bite down on the alphabet. Alphabets were first sold in 1958 and were made from whole grain oat and corn flour. They were a post-cereal product and were taken off the market in 2006. That being said, they did return for consumer delight, but this time they boasted 0% sugar. What, none at all? New. Boy, how times changed. Back in the day, it was all about the sugar sugar content, and the frosted alphabets were all the rage. However, the limited edition 0% sugar version did do very well. Alphabets were really fun because we all really did spell words with them. Hopefully nothing too age inappropriate. When and how will you come to us next, alphabets? We're waiting for you. Alphabets. Always a culinary delight. Dunkin' Donuts cereal. That's good for five bucks at Dunkin' Donuts. Next up is the Dunkin' Donuts cereal. The fast food joint you visited often was brought home for the first time ever in 1988. The cereal came in two varieties, glazed style and chocolate. A popular hack for this cereal was to get both flavors and mix them with your own ratio of chocolate and glazed goodness. Double glaze. <sighs> Fred the Baker, Dunkin' Donuts' unforgettable spokesperson, was featured on the box, and he even did a commercial promoting this amazing cereal. In the commercial, Fred was seen working hard in the kitchen, using a tiny rolling pin to roll out dough and creating tiny little donuts. The cereal itself was only on the market for about a year before being discontinued. If you wanted to experience something similar today, Post Cereals makes a Hostess Donuts cereal, which is a donut-flavored cereal that is currently available. I want it all. Teddy Graham's Breakfast Bears. If Rosa doesn't eat breakfast, she's a real bear. Do you remember Teddy Graham's? Those cute little bear-shaped graham cracker snacks that came in a variety of flavors? We bet you do, as they were and still are very popular. However, did you know they also made Teddy Graham's cereal? And best of all, they looked and tasted very similar to the actual snack crackers they were based on. That sounds amazing. These had a very long run on store shelves, but were eventually discontinued, which is a shame. Teddy Graham's brand is still going strong, so there's of course the chance that these do come back. Y'all come back now, you hear? Corn Pops. I thought you liked the other one, the Corn Pops. These were so good. Some may still buy these because they may be available in stores near you. Others may not and may be salivating thinking of these little circular puffs of goodness. Sweet goodness. Remember the way that the pops would slowly fill up with milk and when you would bring them into your mouth, they would pop with milky sugariness? Pop! 
Bam! Deliciousness. I'm really hungry. I think I've got the munchies. This is one of those cereals the parents probably also ate a lot of. You could even eat this without milk. Just put them in a bowl and sit on the sofa and watch the Jetsons or the Fairly Odd Parents or Looney Tunes. This cereal is still available, so if you want to have a taste of the past, go find it. There's nothing like a little bit of cereal nostalgia to make bad, dark days nice and bright. Make the night as bright as day. Tricks. I've been led to understand that tricks are exclusively for children. Silly rabbit, tricks are for kids. That is probably all that needs to be said in order to remember this cereal and its notorious white bunny that got up to no good. Trick cereal goes all the way back to 1954. Did you know that this cereal was that old? Trix is made by General Mills. Back in the 50s, when this cereal was invented, it was just a reworking of the popular cereal called Kix. This newer version was sugar-coated. There were only three colors in the original, yellow, which was lemon-flavored, red, which was raspberry-flavored, and orange, which was, you guessed it, orange-flavored. Over the years, other colors, flavors, and shapes were introduced, including purple grape flavor, green lime flavor, blue wildberry flavor, and pink watermelon flavor were among those added. The rabbit came into play in 1959 in a televised commercial. It was, uh, it was all about uh, tricks. Tricks the rabbit. The rabbit and the famous tagline were invented by Joe Harris, who was a copywriter and an illustrator for an advertising agency called Dancer Fitzgerald Sample, or DFS for short. The company had been founded in 1923 and were very reputable when Trick Cereal worked with them. The anthropomorphic cartoon rabbit is likely what gave the cereal its raging success. Even now, the tagline rings in our ears and brings us back to our childhood. When remembering this cereal, we remember the words, Silly rabbit, tricks are for kids. Can I have some tricks? Help yourself to more and tap that screen for our next great video. New to our channel and want to join our notification squad? It's easy. After you bang that subscribe button, just ring that bell.